As you can see, we now have the premium ballast securely mounted to the wiring harness here. Uh, we can now go ahead and get the bulb installed into the socket. Now, the bi-xenon bulb is actually a two-part system. Um, on here, it tells you whether it's on the open or lock position. If you turn counterclockwise, you unlock the bulb from the housing. This has to be placed into the bulb here first. You should be able to find the grooves pretty easily and press it in. You take your white retaining ring here, place it back on, and twist it shut. Now you can take the bulb, uh, make sure you find where the grooves are on each side, line them up. Should just take a little bit of jiggling around to find it. There it is. Twist it, lock it to place, and it's all set. You can now go ahead and finish the wiring on this side. There are two smaller wires here coming from the bulb that connect to the ballast. You should feel the snap, you know they're in place. The wire that came from the harness on the other side, uh, right here, needs to connect to your new ballast. Make sure you get that snap right there. Tug on it to make sure it's tight. And the last set of connections is the bi-xenon signal wire. Just line it up, make sure it clicks into place. You may want to electrical tape this connection uh, just to make sure it's secure. But the, uh, the driver's side is all set. Let's go ahead and take care of the passenger side. Just like the driver's side, the passenger side bulb install has to be the same. Remove the socket from the bulb by twisting to the open position. Remove the bulb carefully. We'll be putting this section in first. Make sure you get it in securely and put the white ring around it when you're done. Now that that's secure, you can go ahead and insert the bulb. Twist the lock, and you can now get the rest of these connectors connected. Small signal wire. Remember you want to electrical tape this connection right here. The two wires here will be connected to the wires coming from the ballast. And at this time, you can go ahead and connect the ballast wire to the ballast on this passenger side. There you go. The wiring is all set. Let's go ahead and test uh, the new Bi-Xenon headlights. Make sure to reconnect your negative terminal. Okay, everything's wired up. Uh, we've gone and tested the system. It's working fine. Just want to show you how we cleared up the wiring. Uh, the relay and the rest of the wires here have been bundled together down here at the bottom. I've actually wrapped the positive wire around the battery coming through here. The wires leading to the driver's side go underneath the radiator housing here. Um, they come through and down, uh, leading towards this bulb. Let's go ahead and show you how these lights work. So we have them on low beam right now. As you can tell, they're switching up to high beam, um, both in the temporary state as well as the permanent state. 